Welcome to my Big Eye PLTM training series. My name is Trevor. This video is dedicated to describing when you would use an eye roll. Over half of all F5 Big Eye PLTM customers have at least one eye roll in use on their platform today. I've personally worked on hundreds of customer production environments where eye rolls were functioning to solve for application requirements. It's important to remember though that not all eye rolls are created equally. Eye rolls offer tremendous value and flexibility to the Big IP and how it influences customer data and requests. However, there are trade-offs to utilizing them. When eye rolls are deployed, the Big IP is now executing tickle code when certain application events are triggered. This increases the complexity of the environment and the troubleshooting process when emergencies happen. The logic of how the eye roll is composed is the variable that increases the CPU utilization when it processes that eye roll. Each request that goes through the Big IP that triggers on that event declaration has to be processed through that eye roll. So if your eye roll is more efficient, the CPU utilization is going to be lower. Some clients are hesitant to use eye rolls because they don't want to rely on a feature that's only offered by the Big IP as well. These are all valid concerns, but none of them justify excluding eye rolls as an option. So when it comes to these trade-offs, it's important to weigh the pros and the cons. Eye rolls are fast and easy to make compared to updating an entire application that could sometimes take days or longer in some cases. Writing eye rolls as short and simple as possible also help with the troubleshooting and the CPU utilization trade-offs as well. You should use an eye roll when you're looking to add a functionality to your application and that functionality is not already a built-in configuration option on the Big IP. Eye rolls are a quick and easy way to manage application fixes since they're all stored in one location versus on each individual server that you're load balancing to. An example of when you should not use an eye roll is whenever you're only needing to accomplish a single function that already exists through the GUI or the CLI. The reason why that's the case is that it would take the Big IP more CPU resources to compile the logic within that eye roll versus just using a built-in feature that's configured on that virtual server. There is oftentimes more than one way to accomplish a task on the Big IP. Within the GUI, for example, you can create an HTTP class profile that performs URL load balancing, and you can also create an HTTP profile that inserts headers or encrypts cookies or enables the X44 parameter inside of it. So just like with any advanced feature, eye rolls should be used in the appropriate time. Well, thank you for watching. Please click the link in the description below to see the entire Big IP LTM training series playlist.